Good evening, Mr. Aguirre. How are you? I'm pretty good, pretty good. Nice. Good to hear that. We How do was your day? You? Doing oh. fine. <laughs> Doing well, thank God. Thank God. Oh, yesterday, yesterday was not very easy, but today much better. It was much better. Yes. In my personal in my personal case and um, in my weekend I had a weird experience, right? What happened? Um, let's see on Saturday uh -huh. I went uh, I went to the gas station at night, right? Uh -huh. When when I was up filling my tank speaking to me, uh, some guys told me, hey. How are you? What's going on? What name? Uh oh, <laughs> oh. oh, you were you scared. Are... Yeah, because you know, uh, you, uh, you know what you kind of guys. <laughs> yeah, but well, uh, the point is that she looked no, let's say he, he was well dressed. Yeah, he suddenly told me, uh, may, may I talk to you, mister? Okay, go ahead. Uh, le let me tell you that you look like to my late husband. Okay, man, I really let you. I told him. <laughs> uh, okay, bye, see you. Yeah, see bye, you. Bye. bye, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> I think that, I thought that he he wants to catch me. No. And that was near your house or yeah. in a, or far away. Yeah, because uh, at the end he told me bye. Oh, he... <laughs> I I have to skate. <laughs> you had to run, yes. Yeah, yeah. run away. <laughs> run away. Yeah. And it was pretty late or early. Nope. Uh, around 8 p.m. Around eight, yes. Yeah. The weekend is. It was very well. <laughs> yeah, the weekend probably it's the best time for them to work. Oh my God, that's how things work here. Let me just move this thing. I guess I, I got the wrong. Yes, this one is level two. Okay, well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we have Mr. Cesar Cáceres as well, okay. I hope you are fine. I hope you're okay, that you didn't have any weird experience over the weekend. <laughs> okay. I hope everybody's doing great and I hope we can have a wonderful practice today. Well, let me just share the screen and present. Okay, yes, definitely. Um, I want it right here for the slideshow. Yes, and it goes that way. This is our class number 13. And definitely we're gonna be talking about sports. How sporty are you, okay? Then we talk about sports that you like and ask and answer WH question related to sports. Probably uh, you would say, I don't play any sport or I'm not into sports or sports are not my thing, but it's still, we're gonna describe at least to get familiar with the vocabulary, okay? With the structures that we can use to ask or to answer uh, to any question related to sports, right? So, give me, give me one second, I just need to go ahead. Okay, we have this image right here. And they show us, well, somebody, sorry, I'm having connection problem, Mr. Vidal, I'm sorry to hear that. The sports seasons in the US and Canada. Okay, of course, those countries, you know, the USA and Canada, they have seasons. We just have two main seasons, right? Because we don't really have four seasons because we are a tropical weather country we are located in central america so the winter is not a real winter as it is in the north 
So we don't have ice, we don't have a snow. So we don't have these sports, right? So we don't play hockey. We don't play ice skating or skiing like in the winter for the countries in the north, you know. And probably in the summer, we have kind of a summer all year. So we can do all these sports all year. And for the fall, probably it's very similar. In the spring, we don't really have a beautiful spring, but a couple of maybe couple of weeks in May when this, the, the raining season starts, you know, it gets, well, the countryside mainly gets really green. The trees get like really green and, and flourish and the grass probably looks a bit different. All right, but in the US and Canada, of course, they have four seasons, right? in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, in the winter, right? So they say that in the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In El Salvador, we play soccer all year round. So <laughs> there's no difference, right? Either dry or wet, rain or sun, we play soccer. <laughs> well, officially the leagues, I mean, the athletes, right? On the street, in the park, whatever. That is the famous sport we have all right in the summer in the u.s and canada of course i mean people play baseball tennis volleyball and go swimming i don't know what's the difference i mean to play baseball in the summer or in the spring i would say it's the same thing but it i mean maybe they prefer to play it in the in the summer right so tennis i would say you can play I mean tennis at any at any season of the year, as well as volleyball, because there are uh, like two or three different type of volleyball. When you play volleyball on a court, like similar to what to basketball inside indoors, and when you play volleyball on the beach, right? So different type of volleyball. Go swimming. Mm. Maybe it's more common in the summer, but I think you can go swimming in the spring. Maybe not in the winter because it's like really extreme, but in the in the spring and the fall, maybe you can still go. So in the fall, they say play football. Probably the the leagues are, you know, like in the in the main point uh, in that season, play football, the American football. Go by riding and go hiking. Well, go hiking would be really nice during fall because of the mountains and the and the tracks and the fields are really in good conditions to go hiking. And in the winter, as I told you, we don't have this alternative here because the winter is not really extreme and there's no snow, so we don't have hockey. Well, basketball, they play basketball indoors. That's why they prefer to play basketball during the winter. Go ice skating and go skiing. So those are the sports they do in the US. Yeah, what is fall? Fall is autumn, is otoño. So autumn usually happens, uh, it starts, it usually starts in October, right? And Wait a second. It starts in October. Or sometimes actually it starts late in September. Like the 20, I remember because it is my birthday during the equinox of the, of the of autumn. So it is usually late in September, October, November, and by the beginning of December, the winter starts. So oh by the late um yeah, by the late November, by Thanksgiving Day, and the winter starts. Okay, good. Let's see. We have some questions related to sports, right? It says, what sports are popular in your country? Check the sports. Of course, you don't have this uh, on your notebook, but maybe you can take notes and say, okay, what sports are popular? Maybe not just soccer. That is the most popular, right? Because 
everybody loves soccer everybody watches soccer every, i mean every child plays soccer on the street or in, on the in the park or the school whatever but there are some other sports that are also popular or oh, depending of the ages right or depending of the what the social status probably people play tennis or people play uh, golf or people play any other sport right so do you like sports what sports do you play or watch not necessarily that you play because sometimes we only go to watch to the stadium or to the fields or to the i mean even on tv because sometimes we like to watch the olympics we like to watch the international competitions and that's something we usually do and of course this is time to talk okay so you're going to talk to your partners describe the the, the previous questions okay what sports are popular in our country what sports you like and what sports you like to play or what sports you like to watch okay so let me just give you three minutes to be practicing in groups i'm gonna make uh yes definitely three three groups actually and then you exchange ideas all right here we go Eh, vamos a practicar, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Vamos a practicar. Eh, la primera pregunta sería: What sport are you pop popular in your country? ¿Qué deporte es popular en su en su ciudad o en su departamento de los que están acá? Ajá. Eh, y la respuesta es: Do you like el sport? Eh, es abajo, ¿verdad? Oh, ah, no, esas son otras preguntas, son tres preguntas. <coughs> ah, ok, perdón. Uh -huh. Bueno, eh, yo le tengo que contestar a usted, ¿verdad? Es... Sí. Ok, eh, comencemos. <risa> ok, What... hi Janet. Eh... Sería, what sport are you popular in your country? Good. In my country, the popular sports are um, soccer, um, basketball, um, um, Only. <laughs> Only that. Do you like the sport? Uh, I like basketball, but not play. Okay. Uh, what sport do, do you play or watch? Um, I watch play and soccer and basketball for my husband. Okay. And así que no te Okay. Eh, uno más ahí en el grupo puso la teacher. Así rápidamente en Spanish, una picture eh, de que habla de que, pues, si a ustedes les gusta un deporte, sea que lo hayan practicado. No puedo, pero lo voy a pronunciar. Ok. Ok. okay. Eh, 
why uh, why sports are popular in your country in the in the summer um, football and go swimming okay eh, el, son tres preguntas para si es por sí. you like eh, Dark, eh, dark, algo así se dice, ¿verdad? Dark sport, do you like? Do you sport? like sport? Sí. Do yes, I like do. Sport? I like play uh, football and I like play and I like go by reading. Mm. Ok. Eh, la otra dice. Eh, Why the sport do, do you play or we watch or or we watch? Or watch. I or watch. I I watch um, play baseball. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Finny. <laughs> Good evening, Carla. Good evening, Janet. <clears throat> oh yeah, only you remember. Okay, uh, Carla, what sports are popular in your country? Um, in my country is popular um the the play football and and play pass. Da, para que empiecen para que empiecen a practicar y yo les más o menos les voy a... Brenda, you're there. Ya se van a ir los ronquidos al fondo. <laughs> Brenda. Can you hear me? Quizá la conexión de ella está un stable. Yes, maybe. Or right on the... está, está malísima la conexión. Terrible. Miss Brenda, you can write on the chat if you have some difficulties. Porque a mí se me está... Des... No, está... no me carga, teacher. Los oigo, pero no, no sé si ustedes me escuchan a mí. Now we listen. Sí, yo la escucho a Karen, pero se oye así como que está hablando debajo del agua. Ay, no. <risa> yo no escucho a Karen. <risa> oh, my goodness. Yes, maybe there sí. are some connection problems. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, 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 because of the connection problem some people are having, let's have this, well, yes, let's have this activity here with everybody. All right, we're going to ask Miss Pino first. Miss Pino, <laughs> how are you tonight? Hi, teacher. Hi. Good Good evening. So, do you remember the question? What sports are popular in your country? What sports do you like? What sports do you like to play or watch? Can you just give us like the answer complete, please? Okay. Uh, this popular sport in my country mm -hmm. is the soccer. And basketball mm -hmm. with young people, yes. Mm -hmm. And tennis for for uh, is the light play. ¿Cómo se dice? Alcalde. How do you say alcalde? The mayor of the city. The mayor of the city. Really? The, the mayor of the city is tenista. He's a tennis player. 
It's a tennis player. Nice. I think swimming is also popular. Maybe not at a, as a sport, but people love to go swimming. Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I like uh, room. running. Running, but it is not. Uh... It is considered a sport, but you don't do it professionally. Athletics, like running, okay. uh -huh. hiking. Yeah, I used to love hiking as well. Riding bikes, bike riding. That's also very popular. Yeah, especially on Sundays, people like to ride their bikes, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. What about you? What sports do you watch or play? Uh, I sport watch um, is soccer and basketball mm -hmm. for my husband. You, you watch live or on TV? Yes, on TV. On TV. Uh, the basketball um, NBA. I I practice. You used to in, practice. Yeah. And how do you say antes? Before, when I was a student in high school. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, before uh, we had a student. When I was a student. Yeah, but but. Today, not. Not anymore. No. Okay, good. Thank you, Miss Pino. Let's see. Mr. Romero, what about you? Hello, teacher. Hey, tell us what sport do you think are popular in our country and what sports do you watch or play? Okay, um, in my country. Um, for our popular is soccer. Mm -hmm, the most soccer, popular, uh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basketball. Uh, go 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 back. Go bike. Excuse me. Riding. Bike riding. And, mm -hmm. and go swimming. And go swimming as well. Uh huh. And sometimes volleyball. Sometimes volleyball. I, I like. I like play soccer and go swimming go swimming actually there is a sport that we haven't mentioned that is very popular that is beach soccer you know that's a good sport <laughs> yeah, yeah. now we have uh, actually they have constructed a uh, real i don't know if it is a, a field but um, there are this stadium for beach soccer in what is it? The name of this beach in La Costa del Sol. In La Costa del Sol and in Apulo, there is another beach official beach soccer yes. stadium. Yes. Yes. In yes. the Barra de Santiago. Another one. Yeah, it's, oh yes, yeah. because because most of the of the famous soccer players come from La Barra de Santiago, right? Yes, yes. Mm, it's true. Oh nice. Okay. Well, let's just keep going. Yes, you already talked about this. Do you have any favorite uh team? If you watch soccer or if you watch uh basketball, do you have any special favorite? Or you are a fan of any sport team that like you are you are a fan of the Spanish league, for example. <laughs> Most people love to watch the Spanish league here in our country, especially in soccer. And if you're gonna watch basketball, definitely you watch um, the NBA from the United States, right? Because that's the most famous league of basketball. What about the World Cup? Which country do you go for in the World Cup? <laughs> they haven't classified yet. <laughs> you go for Mexico, you go for Argentina, for Spain, Italy, England. Well, we don't really know if England, Spain, and Italy are classifying for the World Cup, right? So you never know. But people usually go for the, the, the teams here in Latin America. 
So most likely Mexico, Canada, and the United States are going. So anyways, <laughs> okay, Justin, we have the conversation here between Lauren and Justin. So, so Justin, what, are you, what do you do in your free time? You can perfectly say, what do you do? Okay, even if it is kind of hard, you can still say it. What do you do in your free time? So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? If you want to sound American-like, okay? It's not necessary. It's not mandatory. You can sound Salvadorian-like and still communicate, right? So, so, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Or, so, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. <laughs> okay, Justin is not real a real athlete. He, lo he loves these sports, but he doesn't play them. He just watch them on, te I mean, yeah, he watches them on, on television, right? So we're gonna practice this conversation. You can, uh, of course, say your real names, like, so Oscar, what do you do in your free time? <laughs> so Kenny, what do you do in your free time, right? Well, I love the sports. No, you have to pretend that you love the sports. And then really, what sports do you like? And you can say, baseball, basketball, tennis, soccer are my favorites. Oh, wow, you're a really good athlete. My when day, you... teacher in my case, yes. I, I, I love some sports but to watch them on television. <laughs> yeah. when, I was, uh, when I was teenage, I mean, three years ago. Uh, Just yesterday. Uh, <laughs> I practice, I practice surfing. Really? Yeah. Where? As well, as well when I was starting at the university, I practice, I, I played basketball at the university. And the at the team. university team? Yeah. Nice. So you were a really good athlete. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> and where did you go surfing at El Tunco? No, at the Punta Roca and Sunsal Beach. All right. And that is near La Libertad too. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, this time let's just follow Lawrence and Justin conversation let's practice this way and then you can change of course the first the first time the first and second time probably you just practice this way and then you can be increasing the difficulty right changing the sports changing the the expressions probably okay so mm, I'm not like a really good athlete. I don't really play the sports, you know. I just watch them on television. I just watch them on, um, I don't know, on YouTube. Or I like to watch the world competitions as the Olympics, as the World Cup. I enjoy uh, having track of who is winning or who is making more medals, whatever. You know, whatever you want to say about this, okay? So we're gonna change your partner. We're gonna make new groups. Let's see, let's, well, let's hope this time the breakout rooms work better because the other time they didn't work really well. So we are having, yes, three, three, two, two, okay. And if somebody does not have a partner, I'm gonna move it to another part, I mean, to another group, and that's fine, not a problem. Can you share all the match? Yes, I will, no problem.
I'm Lauret. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Justin, well, uh, Karen. <laughs> Karen, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love a sport. Really? What sport do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Okay. Yeah. So, um, why do you play hockey? Because I like a little bit, but not all, right? Because I think that uh, hockey is very complicated to handle the, I forgot how do you say the, the palo de hockey? I don't know. The hockey so stick. Say, okay, hockey stick. I think mm -hmm. that is, is this complicated sport. Mm -hmm. For the reason I don't like it, this sport. Okay. By the way, what about you? What do you like sport? So I like uh, football. Um, go swimming are my favorite sport. Okay. Good. But I don't play these sports, just watch on TV too. Okay. Um, oh, I don't play. Um, bueno, aquí se dice. El, el juego que no me gusta, ¿verdad? O que practico. Ah, no, ahí, ahí, ajá, ahí, es que ahí ahí como que te pregunta, bueno, te pregunta de que, que si practicas vos todo este deporte. Ajá. Ajá. Bueno, le pregunta ahí en la conversación a Elba. Entonces, le contesta, oh, I don't play. I don't this play. Sport. This is for uh, soccer. Um, basketball. Okay. Uh -huh. Ahí sería. Uh -huh. I just why. Uh, ahí, ahí como que me estás, perdón, ahí me estás mencionando como que vos no practicas no, esos deportes. Esos deportes. Ah, no lo Correcto. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. pues, sería, que... sería, oh, I, I don't play soccer y basketball. Okay. Okay, vaya. Ahora voy en. Eh, so Justin, what did you do? What did you do? Uh, what what did you, you do? do? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Your free time. What do you do? Uh, well, I, I love what, uh, what thing. Bueno, en este caso tendría que ser watching eh, TV, eh, soccer, eh, I love practice swimming, eh, and go, I go bike a ride. Ok. Eh, really, eh, realmente, ¿verdad? Eh, really white sport. You like, uh, do you like? Uh, algo, algo, uh -huh. You do like, uh, algo es, uh, football, uh, soccer. Yes. O sea que yes. siempre fútbol. I like, I like play soccer. I like. And um, sometimes, uh -huh. and sometimes, uh, I like, I like, uh, go, go at swimming. Wow. Yuri really a uh, good athletic. 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 ¿Cómo se dice atleta? Uh, 
Atleti. 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 Por ejemplo, un, uh, alguien que practica mucho deporte tiene un cuerpo atlético, podría ser. Atleta, atleta. Athletics. Athlete es el atleta. You are a really good athlete. Athlete. Oh, ok. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you. Eh, vale, otra vez lo voy a repetir. Eh, wow. <risa> you is, is, is the truth. Is the truth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In this case, the principal goal uh, was go to the gym, but I don't have that. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, but uh, you got the gym. I don't. I. I. In my case, no. In my case, not. No, what they think. I start the month ago, but ah, okay. in this position, I don't have time for my work. Okay. Hey. Hey, hey. Did you finish practicing the conversation? Okay. Let's see. Who is a good athlete? Do we have any good athlete in the class? No. No. <laughs> Nobody plays any sport. Nobody goes to the gym, goes swimming, goes bike riding. Soccer, soccer yeah. Soccer, you play soccer. Mm -hmm. I practice I'm exercise home. routine at home. Uh -huh, you do exercise at home. Uh -huh. Yes. Any other? And sometimes bike a ride. Uh -huh. Sometimes I ride a bike. Uh -huh. I go bike riding. I go swimming. All right. In the past, some people used to go surfing. <laughs> some people used to play soccer or basketball at the university. Okay. And nowadays, not much. Not much of a sports. Okay, no problem. Let me see. Yes, here we just had the conversation. And that's all right. Yes, you already practiced a conversation. All right, here is a question. What's your favorite sport and how often do you play it? Let's see, any volunteer? What's your favorite sport and how often do you play it? Never? <laughs> okay, write on the chat. What's your favorite sport and how often do you play it? If you don't play it, you go and be honest and say, my favorite sport is soccer, but I don't play it. I just watch the soccer league from Spain on TV. Write on the chat, okay? What's your favorite sport and how often do you play it? Okay, I want to see the answers on the chat, please. All right. My favorite sport is soccer, and I like playing soccer. When? When do you play soccer? Uh, on weekends. On weekends, all right. 
Nice. My favorite sport is soccer, and I, and I love playing soccer on weekends. That's great. Miss Janet says, my favorite sport is go swimming, but I never go. <laughs> I never go swimming. I don't have time. Okay. Uh-huh. More answers on the chat or on the microphone, please? Just two, is two brave people answer. No more answers? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else? Who else is the bravest to answer? Aha, uh -huh. Miss Carla says my favorite sport is go swimming and basketball, but I don't practice these sports. I don't have time. Mm -hmm. I remember that when you are a child, when we were kids, when we were young, we love to go swimming, right? Every time we went to the beach or we went to the swimming pools, it was the most beautiful day. It was the most wonderful day. <laughs> so we enjoy going swimming. Probably uh, we are not so good at swimming, but we enjoy it. Okay. Next question. Mm -hmm. Which sport would you like to try? So probably it's a sport that you have never tried, but you would like to try. For example, I would like to try ice skating. You say, explain why. I think it's interesting. I think it's exciting. Yes. So which sport would you like to try? I would like to try surfing because it looks very exciting. It looks very interesting and challenging, right? So you can write on the chat, which sport would you like to try? Would you like to try means algo que nunca han intentado pero que le gustaría intentar? So which sport would you like to try and explain why? You can explain on the chat or you can explain with the microphone, okay? Tell me. Miss Pino says my favorite sport go running, but I don't practice in this moment. My favorite, Henry says my favorite sport is soccer and swimming, but now I just play video games on the consoles, right? Okay, <laughs> that's sad. <laughs> But it's still okay. Many people play video games and they play FIFA and they, let's say, got the same feeling of being in a, in a competition. So if you have the opportunity to, to play any other sport, what sport would you like to try? Or something that probably is not very common and, and that you like to have that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. In my personal case, I would like to learn, I would like to learn to snowboard. The snowboard. Because yeah. I, con I consider that it's the same skill like, uh, like surfing, right? It's a very similar skill. Yeah, because, because my my son lives in, in United States, in Utah State, and he practice currently he practice the snowboarding. The snowboarding. Yes. That would be interesting. Actually, it's another, another sport that it might be very, very interesting is uh, just skateboarding. And some people practice skateboarding and they fly on the sky, literally, right? So that would be another similar one. No, I mean, I mean, the snowboarding. On the snow. Yeah. Yeah, because but that's, it, what, that's what I'm saying. If, if um, obviously, it would be more interesting and more exciting on the snow. But if you don't have the snow, why don't you practice the skateboarding? <laughs> I, I hope in the next. I hope in the next year, if I had the opportunity to fly to the United States, I'm going to practice. Go, go ahead. Boarding. That would be yeah. nice, and then you bring us and share some photos, okay, of your experience. <laughs> that would be awesome. I will. Yeah, that would be awesome. That's okay, it. Carlita says I would like to play tennis or go bike riding. Yeah, try, try. Well, you can play tennis. You just, yeah, find a place very similar to volleyball, but the net is low. And I think the closest that we have gotten to tennis probably is ping pong. <laughs> or they also have table, table tennis. Mm -hmm. 
very similar. Bike riding, yeah, definitely you gotta buy a, a bike and gotta have the skill of riding the bike, all right? Mm -hmm. Paracaídas, that's parachuting. Yeah, jumping from a para, oh, with a parachute. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, jumping from a plane with parachutes. Yeah, that would be nice. That's pretty extreme. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if that is a sport though. Yes, yeah, looks more like extreme uh, activity. Okay. This is another question. Which sports are popular in your country? We already talked about soccer, basketball, right? Bike riding, go swimming. Okay, one second, please. Well, I'm not quite sure, but it says, I would like, oh yeah, this is from Karen. I would like to try gymnastic because it is interesting and discipline. Yes, gymnastic is pretty nice. It's very, very Olympic actually. And to be a gym, uh, yeah, a professional gymnast, you have to start at a very early age. You have to start when you are three or four years old and then Practice gymnastics for the rest of your life until you become a professional gymnast. Yeah, I used to have a student from the kindergarten who was already in gymnastic. All right. Let's see. Do you prefer playing or watching a sport? <laughs> At our age, <laughs> some of us prefer watching. <laughs> some others prefer playing. Yes, uh, I think if we have the two possibilities it is yeah it would be more interesting and exciting to play right so mr aguirre says it depends tell us why <laughs> if you are in a good condition he would say you can play <laughs> if you're not in a good condition you can only watch i'm just kidding teacher <laughs> all right no problem mm -hmm. And do you prefer individual or team sports? Individual, like go swimming, go bike riding, go hiking. That is something you can do individually. Gymnastics, running. Uh -huh. In the sports that are played in teams, definitely soccer, basketball, baseball, volleyball. So which one do you prefer? Mm -hmm. In teams or individual? Anybody? Any opinion? No? Teacher, do, yes? teacher, do you consider that the pool is sport? Which one? The pool? Do you consider that it is a sport? I think there are competitions. There are official competitions. I'm not quite sure if here in El Salvador or in Central America, in this region, but I have seen uh, videos of real competitions from uh, China, from Korea, from Japan. You can find videos on YouTube of, yeah, of, of this uh, competition, like official competitions of pool. Have you ever played pool? I like to. <laughs> really? Like to How do you say vicio? No. I have it. <laughs> it's a habit. This is a habit. <laughs> if you consider that it's a habit, habit it could be a social network, it could be video game for night, yes. whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> it's a different one. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think uh, playing pool, it's not only about playing, but it's also about socializing, yeah, living in this, I mean, Having the experience of sharing time with friends, having, uh, I don't know, all the excitement because, yeah, I play pool. I learned to play pool like, what, 
last year because we went to a trip and we stayed at a hostel in this hostel they had a, a a uh, a table a pool table and our boss and our colleagues were teaching us to play and then you know we spent like the whole night because nobody wanted to lose when we finished they wanted to get another <laughs> and another one and another one until uh they win so it was then the next day they didn't want to leave the place because they wanted to continue playing so it was like really really addictive <laughs> and exciting yes I, I consider that the pool is a it's a it's a tough to play yeah my cool. mother and in your husband practice pool in belize nice <laughs> <laughs> in Belize. <laughs> in Belize. <laughs> nice. Well, here we have how to structure WH questions. WH are what, who, where, how often, when, what time. ¿Por qué se llaman WH questions? Porque todas las palabras generalmente tienen WH. What, who, where, how often, when, what time. Pero lo que en realidad hacen es preguntar por información, right? So, what sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. Una vez o dos veces, right? Once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Bye. Vamos a hacer estas mismas questions, pero van a cambiar por soccer y algo más. Soccer y otro deporte en lugar de hockey and baseball. ¿Ya? En lugar de decir some friends from work, van a decir neighbors from my community. We have a team. Or we play for fun. No sé, como quieran decirlo. Ok, where do you play? At Hunter Park, lo van a sustituir por at the stadium. Or at the Mágico González Stadium, at the Cuscatlán Stadium, at the, no sé, cualquier otro stadium. Ok, how often do you practice? Or when do you practice? Ok, every night. Ok, and aquí nos saltamos una. So, when do you practice? Can be... Um, every night and how often once every day una vez todos los días right and what time do you start at 7 p.m yes so let's get started miss carla flores are you ready yes okay what sport do you play i play soccer and go swimming And swimming, all right. Who do you play soccer with? I play I play with some neighbor from my community. Mm -hmm. We have a team. We have a team, all right. Where do you play? At the stadium Magico Gonzalez. Nice. How often do you practice? We practice um on our Once a week. Once a week. All right. <clears throat> okay. When do you practice? We practice um, at um, night, in the morning, the evening. In the evening. Mm -hmm. What time do you start? Uh, when I start, we start at 7 p.m. No, oh, that's good. All right. So this is just to practice asking and answering WH questions, right? So this is something we're going to be practicing more. Remember how to structure the question. What sport do you play? Of course, because you are asking directly to a person. But if we are talking about a third person, obviously we have to change. What sport does Cristiano Ronaldo play, for instance? What sport does, you know? and say the name of a third person okay what sport does messi play so who do you play with because we ask directly to a person or what i mean or who does he play with 
or does she play with? So that will depend. The auxiliary for you definitely is do. Do you play, right? So what sport do you play? Who do you play with? Okay, who do you play baseball with? Who do you play basketball with? Who do you play soccer with? Where do you play? How often do you practice? And when do you practice? What time do you start? So this is what we're going to be starting, all right? So I see people are getting tired, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and we continue practicing with these questions tomorrow, okay? Is there any question? Any question. No questions. All right. Good night. Enjoy. I see you tomorrow. God bless you. Good night. Good night. Bye. Blessings. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.